Radical forgiveness requires we avoid negative ruminations, thinking about anyone or anything, for this invites trouble and opens the door for pessimism and resentment to slither into our consciousness. Now, this does not mean that we shy away from difficult real-world conversations, if necessary. But having embarked on living on the spiritual basis, we now find that those times are indeed very rare, unlike when we lived on the secular basis when it seemed we were constantly at odds with the world. So the key is to view everything and everyone through the prism of spiritual light, as we understand it today to the best of our current ability. And remember, no one does this perfectly. One of the keys of radical forgiveness is remembering we are a work in progress. And when we err, and we will, we thank the miraculous for the chance to grow and learn. Our course then is simple. When negative thinking surfaces, we turn to the miraculous in prayer, asking to be shown the correct action and be still. We relax and take it easy, allowing God, as we've come to understand God, to provide us intuitively with the correct thought. Remember, the cause of the negative or fearful thought that has grabbed our awareness is of secondary importance, our reaction to it of paramount importance, and correct timely action will deal effectively with its causation. When we live in this manner, we snuff out the sparks of resentment, pessimism, and fear, which if left unchecked will fuel the fires of morbid reflection before those sparks can do any real damage while at the same time strengthening our link to divine love. And love is the most powerful tool in our spiritual tool chest. Now, initially, this will feel awkward, even odd. But in time, it will become a second nature, a part of us, the level of our serenity increasing dramatically as we employ this manner of living. And though negative thinking will still raise its head from time to time, as it is wont to do, we now have a way out of trouble that works. As long as we remain diligent, trust in God, and employ the indicated loving spiritual action. My name is Vincent Lee Jones. You can find my writings and videos on Blogger, titled the page Living in Spirit. You can find them on Facebook as well at Miracles of Recovery. If you search Vincent Lee Jones, you'll find them on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Vimeo as well. Have a blessed day.